Hello, 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 hello. Back again. I've beat the bullet. Now I've invested in the batteries. Here they are. Hello. As you can see, the second one has just been delivered. There is the second one there. That's the second battery. The first one is already connected. So we are already connected on the battery. I decided to go for the battery. So they are coming to install the other one over here. So next time I record this video, there will be two batteries there. That one is absolutely doing its job. That's why I ended up doing this. It's a bit of a, there's a screen there. Yeah, really, really nice battery, 50%. SOC state of charge there 14.7 degrees yeah it's doing its thing because it's a bit gloomy today really really gloomy day today so uh, I am running on battery for peak times now so this is working very fine what's happening is I am running on battery from 5.30 after 5.30 on peak until the sun comes out, then the batteries um, start getting charged through the solar and also going in. So um, yesterday was the first time I did that. I didn't touch the grid whatsoever. So that's the way we're going. So I'm adding the second battery there. So I will have a total of 18.8 .8 kilowatt hour batteries. So. Take care. There we are, folks. I've got the battery all done. So these are hand shoes. Both of them are there. They look absolutely so, so lovely on here. I hope you can see that as well. It's really a good setup. All is good. Shame about the weather. It's really, really terrible today. And I say shame about the weather. I'm still off grid at the minute. I'm not taking anything from the grid. I'm taking maybe five watts, I think, from the grid. I think it needs to be ticking over. But yeah, I am running on batteries. Hopefully until the end of the day. I'm on 44% now, so the battery came with almost 60%. So they've got a screen on there like that it's got 55 percent this one this one is on 28 so hopefully as time goes on they'll balance each other and they are all in tune on the app i think i've got 44 percent on both so yeah really really cool here we are there are the two hanshu 9.4 kilowatt hour batteries so they were installed by the same um, Qatar Electrical Limited lads and yeah, everything is working fine. They are lovely, easy to commission and really, really a good setup. As you can see, they've got a screen as well where they will tell you the sock the state of charge which is 45 percent there on this one and this one is at 48 percent so really really good i did knock that didn't i on there a tiny bit so if you've seen the um batteries there they are They've got their own switch there and yeah everything is fine everything is working fine and we have got a tiny little issue which i will investigate before i share with any with everyone but so far you know we are generating um round about the whole of march from the 14th when we commissioned it to now we have now um generated about 90 kilowatt hours so the reason i straight away 
decided to invest in the batteries, I received uh, an email from Octopus telling me about the charges going up from the 1st of April, so everything has gone up. I then realized that, you know, I might as well invest in the batteries straight away before they even go up themselves and Hanchu become very, very popular as time goes on. You know, their batteries are really, really good and at the time they were affordable. So I can see them going up as everything has, as from the 1st of April. So I then decided to invest in batteries straight away and I bought two of them. So I've got 18.8 .8 kilowatt hours of storage. So how am I using these batteries? Well, this is what has been happening lately. So when we charge, they are charging at night. The first time is with, they, they came in, they came in with 60%, both of them really. They were installed at two different days because the other one turned up later than the booking that we had. So what I am doing at the minute is I charge them at night up to 100%. And as soon as 5.30 starts, we are on the batteries. We're using the batteries until 9.30, 10 o'clock when the solar starts generating. They do start generating earlier, but the house is using more. So start generating and using the batteries by 10, 10.30, they are full on. My system is a small system. I can only generate a max at the minute, 1.1, 1.2 kilowatt in an hour. So 1.1, 1.2 is what I've hit in, in March in these, in these sunny days. And it starts using the house and charging the batteries or, you know, either way, it just moves around both. Sometimes it will charge the battery, sometimes it will discharge. So it does all that. Then when the sun goes down, which is, it's about 5.20 now, the sun is going down so straight away you know it starts using the electricity from the batteries to the house you know then we stay off grid all that time so i am going to show you what is happening um currently so we we are now in april so we've now generated 120.3 kilowatt hours on there so currently it's about 627 so we are discharging from the battery and the battery's got 45 percent and we're currently still you know as you can see how dark it is now we're still generating 99 watts there and most of it is going to the house and the battery is supplementing the house so definitely the batteries are ideal for for me and how we, we we use the system yes it's a small system i am generating a day on this system uh change that to statistics so today we have generated 7.9 kilowatts so all of that has gone into the battery none has gone to the grid yesterday we did 7.7 .7. we did 8.5 that's our max that we've done so far. And all of that is going to the house and supplement of it is going, some of it is going to, to the battery. And then this 45%, the batteries are set to stop at 10%. So they will continue. So I'll show you the batteries as well while I'm here. So I've got 4.2 on one battery and I've got 4.4 on the other. So this is, you know, the 9.4, you know, you can discharge them up to 95%. So I've got about 8.8 .8 or so. So about 17 all in all uh, kilowatt hours to use. So if they are full, you know, they, they are able to keep us, at, you know, the whole day, especially in this time of the year, we are now in spring. So I'm able to run the house, on the battery, nothing on the on, on the grid, you know, only maybe when I go past my inverter, you know, which is 3.68, we hardly go over that. And it'll be a tiny bit maybe for 
were using the dryer and you know cooking at the same time on our induction hob and all that so i quickly realized i do need the batteries and with how things are i got them cheap i will do the payback i know a lot of people want to know about the payback but my aim currently is you know to my average when i look at my average um on this app let me record it so i can show you as well when i look at my average so again the same information you can see on the screen you know today we've used three pound 60 and we've used 44.2 kilowatt hours so that's what we've done today and my average is currently at 13 pence 13.19 pence per kilowatt hour so i am able to run if i manage to do this from now until at least october running not running the the peak hours i'll be doing all right my average will be down and i am really you know keen and i i know my um, system is small but if i use the off peak charging i should be able to to run you know on 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 the batteries all the time my batteries have got a 6000 cycle 10 year additional 2 year warranty and i am hoping to use that 6000 cycle as much as possible and bring down my uh, payback as other people are are more interested in the payback but the the look of things you know with tariffs and everything happening I don't think prices are going to come down. Energy prices are only going to go up. Looking at my system, you know, how, you know, we've done. Yesterday, I was charging uh, off-grid here um, at our peak times because we kind of run out of um, charge on the other car. But if you look at yesterday, it was £8.82. Then Tuesday was three fifty-five. Monday was £2.33. Sunday was four pounds twenty-two. So, if if it's four pounds a day that we use, that's four times thirty-one days. You know, that's one twenty-four. That's hundred and twenty-four pounds. If I do get a hundred pound twenty-four pounds bill on here, that would be amazing. So my pay my payback would definitely be lower. So. I am really, you know, um, excited and we will see how, you know, we, we get on with, with the system. But so far, so good. I did say I've got an issue that um, we are looking at. That issue involves the charging of the car. So that will be on the next episode um, on the, uh, when I know what has happened and what is happening and how to rectify it. I will let you know so do subscribe to the channel do like the video if you don't want to subscribe do like the video and comment so all i need is you engaging with the video and engaging with me commenting and liking the video thank you very much i'll see you on the next video thank you bye